Hi there. Now, in this question, we've got to find the set of values of x for which, first of all, in part a, 2 lots of 3x plus 4 is greater than 1 minus x. And then in the second part, part b, 3x squared plus 8x minus 3 is less than 0. So as usual, if you'd like to have a go at this, just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Now, in the first part, let's just border that off there though. In the first part, we've got to solve what is often referred to as a linear inequality. We've got no x squareds in it. So let's just copy down the question. 2 lots of 3x plus 4 is greater than 1 minus x. And so first of all, what I'd want to do is expand the bracket. So therefore, we have 6x plus 8 is greater than 1 minus x. Next, I'd want to add x to both sides. Bring the x's to one side so I can see that it would be best to bring them to the left-hand side. So if I add x to both sides, I'm going to have 7x plus the 8 is greater than 1. I'm going to also take away 8 from both sides. So that's going to leave me with... 1 minus 8, which is going to be minus 7. And then I'm going to divide both sides by positive 7. Remember, if you divide ever by a negative number, always reverse the inequality. But we don't have to do it for this one, so it's just simply x is greater than minus 7 divided by 7. And so therefore, x is greater than negative 1. OK? So that's the first part, then part A, solving a linear inequality. Now in part B, though, what we've got here is a quadratic inequality because we've got an x squared here. So you have to handle these ones slightly differently, OK? So don't forget, you can always check out my tutorials on this if you're unsure how to do them. OK, so what we need to do is factorize this okay it looks as if it's going to factorize so if I factorize it we've got a couple of brackets here okay and it's going to be less than zero I'd need a 3x and then an x to give me 3x squared and then two numbers that multiply together to give minus 3 I can see it'll have to be minus 1 here and plus 3 here so that I get 3x times 3 which is 9x minus 1x, that will give me the 8x. Now at this stage, you've got to find out what is called the critical value. So I'm just going to put that in here, the critical values. So the critical values are when this inequality becomes an equation, when it equals 0. And when it equals 0, we would have each of those factors would equal 0. So 3x minus 1 would equal 0, or the other factor, x plus 3, would equal 0. And in the usual way, if I add 1 to both sides, 3x would equal 1 here, and then divide by 3, we end up with x equals 1 third. Or on this equation, if I take 3 from both sides, x would equal minus 3. So I've got two critical values. And remember, with these, what we can do now is draw a graph, a sketch graph of the curve y equals 3x squared plus 8x minus 3. And we'll just set up our axis then. We've got our y-axis and now our x-axis. And these critical values would be where the curve, this curve here, would cross the x-axis. It would cross at minus 3, let's say that's there, and at one third. It's not drawn to scale, but it's just to give us an idea. And so that curve, if we're drawing y then equals 3x squared plus 8x minus 3, or I could say y equals 3x minus 1 times x plus 3, it's the same thing, okay? It's going to be a parabola, a positive parabola, that's a u shape, and it's going to come down through the minus 3 drop below the x-axis and then start to come up through the one-third, looking something like that, OK? Now, what we want is where 
y is less than zero. And y is less than zero along this stretch here when it's below the x-axis. So we're looking for values of x in this stretch in here. Okay, That is where y would be less than zero. So we can say then that therefore from the graph okay from the graph what we've got is that x lies between minus 3 and 1 third so we write that in this style x lies between minus 3 and 1 third okay